Okay guys, so we're moving on to question 10, which is the last question of this exam. Um, again, we're focusing on geometry and we specifically for this question are going to be looking at the proportionality theorem, okay? So the question says, in the diagram, triangle ABC is drawn. D is a point on AB and E is a point on AC, such that DE is parallel to BC. DE, BE and DC are drawn. So then it says, use the diagram to prove the theorem, which states that a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. In other words, AD over DB equals AE over EC. So effectively, what they're asking us to prove is they're saying, please just prove the proportionality theorem. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use area to do that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, if we can prove that the area of ADE, all right, over the area of DBE is in the same ratio as the area of ADE to DEC, then we can say the proportionality theorem works because we're saying that area over that um, equals that area over that, right? Which means that it's proportional because we can see that this orange triangle is sitting on the opposite side of the pink triangle, right? So if we can prove that ratio, we've proved the proportionality theorem. Okay, so what I've done is I've drawn in two heights here. You see that. Now you could be thinking, Margs, why are you doing that? Well, what we need to do, right, in order to find the area of these two triangles here, right, we need the perpendicular height because area equals half times base times perpendicular height, right? But we see that these triangle, triangles here are not right angle triangles. So to get the perpendicular height, we have to get the height outside of the triangle, right? And for this one, we do, we have to get that height, right? So I'm just going to um, color in the heights to link to the um, uh, triangles that we're looking at, just so that you don't get confused, okay? So what I've said is I've said, um, let me just go to the correct page, sorry. I've said that we draw an H2, right? We draw an H2 from E perpendicular to AD, so it's basically a height, and then H1, which is, perpendic which is drawn from D perpendicular to AE. Then I've said, okay, let's compare the area of ADE to the area of DBE. So ADE, I'm using AD as a base. I'm saying H2 is my height, and I'm going to times it by half. So I've written that there. Similar, similarly for DBE, I've said H2 is my height. I'm going to use DB as my um, base, and I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so I've done that, cancelled where I can, and it's left, it leaves me with AD over BD. So now I've said, okay, we've done that side. Let's now go look at the areas of ADE compared to DCE. So I put in ADE, very similar to the previous um, one that we did over here, except we're using AE as our base and H2 as our height. Okay, put, th put that in, sorry, not H2, H1 as our height. So H1 is our height, AE is our base. Then for DCE, we use EC as our base and H1 as our height. So we put that in, again, we can cancel, and we're left with AE over EC. But now you're saying, okay, that's all good and well, so you've got these two different sides of the equation which I've asked you to look at, but how do you know those two things are equal? So let's go and look again, right, at these two triangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend my parallel lines because we're going to need to do a little bit of a um, look at them, right? So let's say we were looking at getting the height, the areas of these two um, triangles without looking at that triangle there. We'd say, well, they're common base, right? So they have a common base of DE, right? And then we could say their perpendicular heights are out here, right? Their perpendicular heights are out here. But because, right, because DE is parallel to BC, we know that this height is going to equal that height. So actually, we know that the area of DBE equals the area of DCE because of these parallel lines. Same base, same height. Okay. So because they have the same base and the same height, we say they equal each other. Therefore, these two um, sums that we have over here, their answers equal each other, 
right? And because their answers equal each other, their final answers that we got there equal each other, and we have proved the, pr the proportionality theorem. Okay, so it's kind of a roundabout way, but it's actually really cool um, proof. So I hope that was good. Um, well, I hope you understood it and that you can remember it. Um, but it also just helps with understanding when you use this theorem and other um, questions. Okay, cheers, guys. Let's go into 10.2.